This next story is hilarious and satisfying and so entertaining to watch. So you might remember that many right-wing media figures were attempting to hype up the candidacy of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as a way to potentially hurt President Joe Biden. And their thought process was, okay, he's running as a Democrat, and he was previously, and so really anything he could do in that Democratic primary would be to hurt President Biden. Of course, he's not going to win, everyone knows that, but he could do some damage and weaken Biden potentially going into the general election against Trump. And so lots of Fox News anchors were really nice to RFK Jr., bringing him on a lot, softball interviews such as Sean Hannity, and assisted, likely, in getting him more prominence as he was running. And they could bond on the conspiracy theories RFK Jr. has. Well, now Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running as an independent. And uh, we talked about that previously. And some are starting to realize within the right wing, wait, this could be bad for us because he is a conspiracy theorist. Now he's not running as a Democrat. What if he accidentally attracts a bunch of uh, right wing voters and hurts Trump? Now, I've said multiple times, I'm waiting to get more polling to really know what this is looking like. Um, but that is a potential based on the views that he has and the candidacy that he's running. And so Sean Hannity, in this clip I have for you, compared to past interviews, his tone has shifted. And now there's this full court press of make RFK Jr. out to be a radical liberal. That That's what we have to do. We've seen social media accounts immediately shift on that as well, that um, previously were propping up, were hyping up RFK Jr. Now, oh, he's a radical left woke monster because of the fear that he could hurt Trump's candidacy, which is hilarious. The phrase people have been using and it's accurate is this is the monster they helped to create now coming back to bite them. So here's this. Now Sean Hannity is saying, ah, Fox News viewers, I brought this guy on a bunch of times. Let me list all these radical left things that he believes so you don't support him. You know, I, I really do appreciate your position on the border. I really, you and I are in agreement. You know, it's interesting because everybody's now trying to analyze, you know, whether if there's a three-way race with you, Donald Trump and, and Joe Biden, you know, who would you more likely draw from? So I, I hope you don't mind, but I did a little research on you. You're pretty liberal. You, you know, you've called for curbing, logging, oil drilling, uh, fracking. You wanted to eliminate it. You called it a victory for democracy. You want to curb U.S. fossil fuel extraction. Keep it in the ground. Interesting. This is the first time Sean Handy, quote unquote, did his research on RFK Jr. and found out the liberal policies he wants his audience to here. Down you once tweeted, you want a ban on fossil fuel extraction, a ban on fracking. You called the NRA once a terror group. You've supported over the years Democrats, Gore, Kerry, Obama, Hillary. You've praised Bernie Sanders multiple times. You support affirmative action. So why is this party of yours, why didn't they even want to allow you to compete? Because that's as pretty liberal of a record as anybody I know. That's as pretty liberal of a record. Strange phrasing there, Sean. Um, and then you'll hear Sean Handy, the way he's trying to phrase it, because he can't openly go, uh, all of a sudden you're horrible, even though I was giving you all this credibility previously. So it's, why does the Democratic Party not like you? That's why I'm going to tell my audience about all these things they should not like. But uh, he keeps using this terminology, as you'll see as the interview progresses, of essentially the Democratic Party kicked you out, which isn't true. RFK Jr. dropped out of the primary and he's running as an independent. <laughs> you have a litany of talking points from uh, statements I've made over 40 years. Uh, some of them are stale, uh, some of them I never said. Um, but, you know, what is your question? Why the Democratic Party, why I'm not running at the Democratic Party? Uh, you know, well, why, I, why did they I, kick I, you I out? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, um, by the way, I'm, I'm think, giving you comments that you made in 26. No one kicked him out. You're not uh, automatically given the support of Democratic voters when you run for president in that party. You have to earn it. And he realized he couldn't earn it in that party. So now he's running as an independent.
it's this weird uh, assumption on the part of Sean Handy that just because he could find previously nominally uh, on the left policies that RFK Jr. has advocated for, that means that RFK Jr. has the right to being supported by the Democrats. He didn't get enough support. He made a decision to drop out. No one kicked him out. 16, 17, 19 uh, endorsements. We know the years Gore, Kerry, Obama, Hillary, Bernie Sanders. They're all recent quotes. The NRA quote you made about calling them a terror group was 2018. So these are these are recent positions you've had that I'm not sure why the Democratic Party wouldn't allow you what to do compete. You, do you want to do you, do you want to uh, talk about my position, Sean? Yes, sir. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to read talking points from the Trump campaign? Well, excuse and me. I, these are know, not talking think... points. These are called Hannity points. I do my own research. Oh, mic drop. <laughs> no, but I saw that same list published this morning by the Trump campaign. It's the exact same list. Um, and and again, if you want to know what my position is on... on... And then... Hannity goes silent. Wow. Absolutely no fan of RFK Jr., but that was a good response. Because Sean Hannity is so proud. Oh, yeah? I got a piece of paper that proves I did my own research. And then RFK Jr. is like, yeah, you printed out the exact list that the Trump campaign released earlier. And then Hannity has no response because that what is what it was. And it is so funny because Trump, too. Trump was in that Fox News town hall, super nice about RFK Jr., and now is of course going to shift and Hannity as well and many others. They thought they could exploit the candidacy of RFK Jr. to hurt President Biden. And now they're terrified that it could actually bite them in the you know where and could backfire. And I hope it does. I've said before, he's a bad candidate, so I don't want him to run in the first place for president in any party or as an independent. And as we sit here today i'm not super convinced by all the data that i've seen because we're so far out and he just announced as an independent to say for sure he's going to hurt trump um, but if that ends up being more clear which it very well could then it's going to be hilarious and entertaining to watch him hurt the very candidate that the movement behind that candidate was trying to help by supporting RFK Jr. Um, and propping him up and giving him all these interviews and all of it. It really is sweet and it really is karma coming for Sean Handy. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. That's LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.